First one, it's raining in Chinatown. Houston's Chinatown felt the effects of the drought as well, but the recession even more. The fish market leaves crab buckets outside and seems to get more crabs. The lady with the flowers sees more colors bloom because of the rain. The Chinese buffet on the strip braves out the storm and then decides to get new machines for fresh lemonade and better tea. The house with little fortune that survives on fortune cookies decides to seal the hole in the ceiling for rain and put down new carpet from a liquidation sale. The Korean girl got her computer wet, then got a new computer with the latest model update laptop. The Vietnamese undergrad runs through curb pedals with a new body kit on his Honda. The Filipino man who can barely drive is unaffected by sleeper roads and doesn't worry about repair costs. Chinatown is not a flood zone, but no drop of moisture goes to waste. My next poem coincides with it. It's called It's Raining in the Ghetto. The drought affected the Houston ghetto, but the recession even more. But now it's raining in the ghetto. Rain is dripping off the poorly posted street signs. The homeless man runs for cover and catches a few drops before he goes in and buys a beer. The man riding a bike gets poured on and has aspirations of buying a car. The old rusted car sitting in the lot looks replenished from the falling rain. The old rusted, uh, the rain falls atop the Baptist church and a new air conditioning keeps the congregation cool. Some dudes inside smoke weed and decide to smoke the rest of it and they just decide to buy more later. The smart dude next door decides to take the rainy day and put savings into a rainy day fund. The retired folk Hope and pray the extra rain helps their grandchildren as much as it helps them. The ghetto is a flood zone and can't handle the rain, but some people still remain dry. Now for the third one, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. It's called The Gray Shine. Don't be fooled by the name. It's, it's kinda not boring. Rainy mornings are beautiful to set a mood. The gray clouds create a comfort atmosphere. The light travels through the window and illuminates the bed. We both look better under the dull light. My dark colored eyes turn into her light colored eyes. Our passion contrasts the room's lighting. The sky makes us stay in bed. To grasp each other with warmth of the sun. To grasp our lust that makes uncertainty of our love to grasp the morning that makes uncertainty of our day. And for the fourth one, and probably to answer y'all's question, yes, I, make, I like making uh, poems about rain. <laughs> this one ain't, so. I call it good memory. My friends say that I'm lucky to have such a good memory. I'm so lucky to remember back spasms that throw me to the ground like I was a burlap sack. Every time I smash my toe into furniture, when I smash my fingers into car doors, when my ankles bang metal at work, when basketballs jam my fingers, when I fall and bust my tailbone, when the wind blows and sand in my eye, every time I catch the flu, times when I catch food poisoning, when I catch a cold and I get that feeling in my throat like there's toenail clippings kind of running back and forth, <laughs> times when I feel like my nails are being pulled off my nail bed, when I bite my tongue, when I bite my cheek, when I, slap, when I get slapped on the soft part of my nose, I hate that. When I punch my knuckles into a brick wall, all the times my heart's been broken, every time I've been let down, every time I've been abandoned, been neglected, been taken for just stupid, when my intelligence has been insulted, usually that, that happens by my, by my bosses. They got my nerves. Been unthought of as far as my opinion goes. All the times I've been ripped off and companies owe me money. All the things that are owed to me financially. All the things owed to me politically. And all the things owed to me socially. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm lucky to have a good memory in my head. And that's all. <laughs>